glory to Jesus Christ. Welcome to part two of the library of Anesti. I went over, I was going to go over the video or part one to make sure that I don't repeat any books because it's been a week or so now since I did the part one and I moved some the books around and stuff and uh, I'll just go through this stack I have here I'm pretty sure it's the right one the right books um, so I have these uh, little booklets that I get uh, from church and uh, they are published by Conciliar Press in um, Indiana. And there's things about worship, heavenly worship, and uh, why we worship on Sunday. Things like communion and uh, fasting and prayer. So, uh, the there's a couple. There's one written by Callistos Ware, who I've mentioned a lot. And then there's a few by lay people and one by a father that I have. So there are those. Um, I haven't read them all yet. They're short reads, as you could imagine. But, uh, I, yeah, I uh, have those. Um, next is The Path to Salvation, a Manual for Spiritual Transformation by St. Theophan the Recluse. And uh, I got this one very recently. Um, St. Theophan, Theophan uh, lived in the 19th century, so uh, he was Russian, and that's all I know about him so far. Um, the book talks about things like abandoning sin and grace and a lot of things like that so I'm lo I really, really looking forward to reading this soon and um, yeah getting on the path to salvation uh, next a another monk the, the recluse was a uh, monk pretty sure here he looks like a bishop um, like I said I don't know a lot about him uh, but this one uh, our thoughts determine our lives is by uh, Thaddeus of Vidovnika Vidovnika and um, he's an elder monk. Um, this one talks about thoughts, um, really the life of him, the life and teachings of him. And uh, yeah, it's a biography and all that so yeah um, I have yet to really get into more of the readings that I want to uh, these books and others about the faith and um, it's so far 
I've just been reading The Orthodox Church by Caliso Swear, which I showed last in the first episode. Um, that's my current read. And then I have been reciting the morning prayers from a prayer book that I showed also in that first episode. So, um, this is from St. Seraphim of Sarov on acquisition of the Holy Spirit. It's a really small one, but, uh, it looks good, I mean, really well, and really great as the others. I, uh, I'm kind of not in the zone right now, but um, I thought it'd be a good time to do this video. <coughs> um, I haven't read a lot about Seraphim of Sarov, um, but I think he's Russian, was Russian. <laughs> Um, let me do a little reorganizing here. So this next one is on the Jesus prayer, and it's called On the Prayer of Jesus. I started reading the inch, the forward of this one yesterday, and it's by Ignatius Ryan Chaninov, and, uh, he was also Russian. He was a monk. So, should be good. Uh, I wanted a book about the Jesus prayer. And there are, there are a couple out there that I know of. Um, this one for sure. I saw another one that... Maybe this one, um, but I'm not quite sure. Next is from the same author, uh, The Arena, and I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Guidelines for Spiritual and Monastic Life. It uh, talks about the arena, and um, the arena is... I have heard it's uh, be called um, a monastery. I've heard be referred to as the arena. Um, I was watching a thing about Mount Athos, and one of the monks called it the arena, if I remember correctly. Um, so that I don't have a lot to say that except I just really want to read it. This next one is great. Uh, it's not like the others, but it's just really cool. Um, it's icons and saints of the Eastern Orthodox Church, and it's by... says Alfredo Tradigo. It was translated, so the I was looking for the publisher, Getty Pub it's Getty Publications. Um it's just really cool. It's like an encyclopedia of icons and icons of saints and our Lord and Our Lady and just really cool. It talks about the history, the dates, the uh, feast days, um, and all that. And I have yet, I just kind of scratched the surface of this one so far. But um, icons and saints, if you're looking, if you like art, um, I would recommend it, even though. Icons are more than art, really. Uh, 
I wouldn't normally refer to them as art, but hey, it's their paintings, so um, that would I'd recommend that for you because it's really beautiful. Uh, and the book is nice. I like when books have a good feel to them. Um, next is, and last but not least, actually, uh, I'll go over something I already talked about and showed, and a it's a big black uh, mass, um, but it's it's the Orthodox Study Bible, and I talked about this back in the summer sometime. It's got icons in it, great notes from saints, uh, theologians from back when, um, I think St. Basil and uh, John Chrysostom and stuff, um, it's in New King James Version, and uh, the, it's just called the Orthodox Study Bible, it's by Abingdon Press, I think. Uh, actually, I have to look at it now. I have said that. But yeah, it's got great sections. Uh, it's a great study Bible. It's Thomas Nelson. Um, Abingdon, Abingdon Press does the, a lot of Protestant-like books that I know of. And I think Thomas Nelson does more of the, just various stuff um, from what I've seen, but it was made by the uh, I forgot what they're called, but it's in California. It's a school it's um, <coughs> I don't know it it's uh, I gotta look this up now too. Yeah, St. Athanasius Academy of Orthodox Theology in Elk Grove, California. So, I always want to pronounce names in the Greek, kind of, so it would be St. Athanasius or something, but. I don't think it matters that much. Um, it matters, but I think it's Athanasius or, see, I don't know. I haven't really heard that name said a lot, um, if ever, really. Um, yeah, there was a sort of Eastern European and Middle Eastern names and stuff are challenging for I think anybody really. <laughs> um, so, last but not least is the something that uh, really the only time I have read this is in church, and it'll make sense when you see it. Uh, but it's quite special for that reason, and it's the Divine Liturgy Hymnal. So, I got the uh, spiral one, and um, yeah, it's a hymnal. Um, it's in English and Greek, so if you can see it, but um, it's uh It's special. Um, I wanted to get it so I could learn the order of the liturgy and the various uh, alternative alternate uh, hymns that can be sung um, at home and stuff. So, and um, yeah, it's 
a saint it's the divine liturgy of saint john chrysostom and uh he lived in the 300s 300 something um fourth century so it is the byzantine rite that's what they all the churches that are byzantine rite that's the main service is the divine liturgy uh, that he made um, popular, really. Um, so that concludes the Anesti Athos Library. Uh, I call it Anesti Athos. Um, because Athos is a place where s it's like heaven um, and it's just dedicated to the faith and so I called the uh, library that because of that reason um, it's these are all the orthodox books I own so far and um, yeah I wanted to I want to uh, have a library of writings about it um, so the Nesti Athos Orthodox Library is what I called it um, yeah that concludes this episode, and it went longer than I thought, but um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later. Peace be with you all, and uh, have a wonderful new year.